Hey, is uh, Grid Base headquarters here? Yeah, dude, he's inside. I'm on vacation. How did you even find me here? So my friend here has come all the way to the Grid Base headquarters here in Terlingua, Texas to ask me a question about this radio. You see, he has a problem. It was advertised that it would get him about 10 miles of range and he's not experiencing that. He's getting maybe a mile out of it. Now, what my friend doesn't understand is the fact that terrain is one of the most important elements in getting an effective communication, really with any radio. Um, but especially radios like this that only have five watts, it's really, really important that you understand terrain and how it plays a critical part in your ability to have a good contact. So, here in Terlingua, we're going to experience all of the different inhospitable elements of this terrain, peaks, valleys, everything in between. And we're gonna show you how to use the terrain to your advantage to extend the range of your radio. All right, guys, look, I understand that this topic has been beat to death, but today it's gonna to be a little bit more of an action-packed example, so stay tuned. All right, now the way we're gonna accomplish this is we're gonna ride our motorcycles to different locations. As we get to those locations, we'll deploy a radio and see if that radio gives us the signal that we want. What is up guys? Quick break here to talk about Jace Medical. Jace Medical is a very cool company that does a very cool thing. Since I am here in Terlingua, I have no primary care physician. I don't even know where the nearest pharmacy is, but that's where Jace Medical comes in. There's different antibiotics and other medications that are in here in this case that can help me get better whenever I am away from my doctor or a local pharmacy. Now, you may not know what medications do, you may not know how to take them, and that's totally fine, and most people don't if you're not a doctor. That's why Jace includes this guidebook that has all the different things that you may need to know about the medications that are included in the case. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you that if I'm in an inhospitable area, I'm taking Jace case with me so that I can get all the different medications that I need if I was to get sick so that I can get back on the road and make more videos for you guys. With that, we're gonna go back to the video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. All right, so our two riders have ended up exactly where they need to be in the Chisos Basin. Now, the Chisos Basin is like a giant bowl, and we have one person in the middle of the basin while the other person is up on the ridge. Now, theoretically, the person up on the ridge should have the ability to communicate beyond the ridge and within the basin, while the person within the basin is probably only gonna get good communication within the basin itself and to the person up on the ridge. So let me show you this little map that I've got right here to kind of describe what it is I'm talking about, and then we'll pick up back here from where I left off. All right, guys, just wanted to show you this example here. So let's say maybe you were in one of these goalies. You know, it would be hard to talk to someone on the other side of the goalie there. You know, if you were on top of the peak ridge here, you'd be able to get down into the goalie, maybe out into the flat and the surrounding area. You know, potential to uh, communicate with other peaks, right, from peak to peak, but difficult to get into the little in-between spots there. Now, if we look at over here on uh, Casa Grande, obviously, if you're in the middle of Casa Grande, you could talk up and around the ridge, uh, but getting outside of the ridge may become difficult. So I hope this helps you guys uh, with a visual. Let's get back to the video. CQ, this is Alpha Tango 45 calling CQ. Any stations out there, please respond. Alpha Tango 45, this is Bravo Zulu 32. Are you loud and clear? Can you copy? You working off a base or a portable? I'm portable, running off battery here. Figured I'd try my luck in case anyone was trying to listen. All right, guys, so clearly this is a dramatization, right? We're just using these different elements to help explain to you how range and radios and line of sight work. If you really wanna know whether or not radio A is going to be able to communicate with radio B, the best thing that I think you can do is use a line of sight path study tools. If you just give that a Google, radio line of sight path study, you'll come up with a tool that allows you to take a pin, drop it on location A, take another pin, put it on location B, and it'll show you if there's something in the middle of you two, or if it's just nice and flat between, and that's a really good tool that you can use to determine whether or not you're gonna have a successful radio contact. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm Jake from Gridbase. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow, and do all the things. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.